Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Hey, I want to share a word to encourage you with this morning. And again, like I mentioned you know, the other day, is um, I really just feel so strongly in my spirit that, um, that I need to share these messages with you now. Because again, when we're going through a difficulty, I think it's the best time to share because now you're in the midst of it and you know what it's like to go through a difficulty. And, and that's why I really feel compelled to just continue to share these messages to encourage you because, you know, maybe you're not going through something now, but sooner or later you will. Um, and that's what the scripture talks about. Um, but the other thing I wanted to mention is I have no idea how people can get through something like this without a relationship with the Lord. There is no way I, I could think about what I would be doing if I didn't have that relationship where I could pray, go into his word, ask for people to pray with me, pray for me. I don't know how you do that without having that relationship. I probably have an idea, I should say, because most people that don't, they, they go to worldly things. Maybe it's drinking, maybe it's whatever, a myriad of things that will never, never give you lasting peace or joy and, and just masking the situation at hand. So again, man, if, if you are going through a difficult time, I, I can't stress enough to get to know the Lord, press into Him, into the personal relationship that He wants, read His Word, pray, and seek prayer, and, and, and love from others that could help you carry you through, that are strong believers that will pray with you, pray for you. That, to me, is the key to getting through our difficulties. But anyway, the, I wanted to share the scripture that, speaking of difficulties, is a very familiar passage in, in Isaiah 43, verse 2. Um, and it reads, when you go through the deep waters, I will be with you. When you go through the rivers of difficulty, you will not drown. When you walk through the fire of oppression, you will not be burned up. The flames will not consume you. Um, again, this is another passage that I have been meditating on. It's been carrying me through my difficulty. But notice that God does not say, if you go through a difficulty, but when you go through a difficulty. My friends, the truth is, we will all go through difficult times. We will all grieve over the loss of the loved one like I am. We will suffer disease of our mortal bodies. Now, we will be unjustly attacked and misunderstood. Yes, my dear friends, it's not if, it's when. And that is why these verses of Scripture and our personal relationship with the, word, word, with the Lord are so precious during our difficult times. They have been written to bring us comfort and to assure us that when we go through such moments, we will not go through them alone. Our Lord, our Savior, He never sleeps or slumbers. He is constantly watching over his followers and he will never leave us nor forsake us even when we feel alone and his presence seems far away. Our God, our refuge and is with us and we are underneath his everlasting arms to carry us through our difficulties. Well, guys, Again, just a quick word to encourage you because trust me, it's encouraging me through my difficulty. If this does speak to your heart, share this video. I hope you have an amazing day. Know that I love you guys and I'm praying for you.